Testing, testing, one, two, and two, three. Okay, we're live. Hi, guys, and welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and everything related to the metaverse, of course. Today, very exciting video as we get to talk about some new VR headsets that have been announced very recently. Hopefully, a new MetaQuest 2 competitor will be out as soon as possible, of course. But in the meantime, guys, do remember that you can enter to win a brand new HP Reverb D2 sponsored by HP, so they will be the ones sending it to you. As well as a brand new pair of cyber shoes with a cyber gaming station, the carpet, the chair, and everything that goes with it, sponsored by cyber shoes as well. And the third winner will be able to get a voucher worth 50 US dollars that you can redeem against any of your Oculus MetaQuest 2 store or Viport or SteamVR store. Be completely up to you as to how you spend the money. So guys, do remember to enable the bell after you subscribe, be part of the notification squad as you could be notified to be the potential winner. And also link in the description below as to how to enter, remember to read the terms and conditions as well. All right, guys, so let's transition over to today's video, which is all about all the various different new VR headsets that are supposedly coming out. Panasonic are unveiling a subsidiary called Shift Tor. Uh, do try to say Shift Tor very fast, as fast as you can, five times, and then write in the comments below what word came out of that. I mean, I'm anyway, never mind, let's stick to the news. Unveils lightweight micro OLED VR headset for consumers. Now, first of all, what does micro OLED mean? I think this is very important to know. So let's go here. Let me just make it as big as possible. So most of the VR headsets today, by the way, use OLED technology or LCD. The difference between LCD and OLED is OLED will have sharper, crisper pixels. So the light will be brighter in bright spots, darker in darker spots. And also it conserves uh, energy and it just makes the whole experience better. Better. However, uh, it is believed population paying attention to the next generation display technology, Micro OLED, has grown after Samsung's demonstrated the 146 Micro OLED modular TV at CS 2017, uh, 2018. Sorry. The large scale display named the wall is the first Samsung display made with Micro OLED. Uh, technology and features considerably high resolution and high contrast. It is comprised of numerous 9.37 inch display modules and thus according to its maker can be tailored into different sizes whether the desired size is to up to be larger or down to a much smaller one. So basically what they can do is it can pack much more uh, LEDs within the display so that the graphics of course will be better, will be smoother, will conserve more energy uh, because the LEDs will be smaller so the lighting will be smaller as well. So it's just a better technology, what can I tell you, uh, in a non-scientific kind of explanation as to the difference between OLED and micro OLED. So it's just going to give you sharper resolution, consuming less energy. So uh, Panasonic, let me just make it a little bit bigger. By the way, by the way, guided meditation VR, very, very good app. Uh, unable to bail off to subscribe as I will be doing a video about this. Panasonic subsidiary Shift Tor, uh, the maker of Steam VR compatible body tracking system, uh, Harry Thorax announced it's releasing a lightweight consumer VR headset this year, guys. This year. This year, 2022. <laughs> 2022, is this the year? Leave a comment below, guys. Let me know, are you excited about 2022? All the various different VR headsets coming out. Uh, unveiled as CS 2022 Shift Tor Mega Next is set to include a 1.3 inch OLED micro displays with feature of 2560 by 2560 per eye resolution rated at 120 hertz. Guys, this is amazing. Considering that the, uh, considering that at the moment, uh, the HP Reverb G2 is 4K, 2160 by 2160. However, the um, if I go to the Vive Focus 3 uh, resolution, it is higher than that. It is 4,896 by 2448 pixel. All oh, this is combined. So 2,448 by 2,448 pixels per eye. So this already is much better than that. Right, it's already better. And also if we look at the uh, here, which was the Vive Pro 2 resolution is also extremely high, which is, well, actually it's 2.5K per eye. 2.5K per eye. And here we're talking about a VR headset that is basically more than that. It, well, I mean, it's, it's yeah, it's more, it's 2.56 per eye. So, you know, it's bigger than that. And it's gonna weigh only 250 grams guys i mean come on what do you guys think leave a comment below 
of this picture. What do you think? Are you excited by this picture? What VR headset does this remind you of? Leave a comment below. Didn't, they, didn't Panasonic unveil something similar a couple years ago? Leave a comment below. Are you excited by the name of the company? Are you excited by the name of the VR headset? Are you excited by the VR headset design? What are you excited about? Do you think this is cool stuff coming out? Or let's just carry on. So processor will be a Snapdragon XR1. Oh, well, this is the same as the... Oh, it's a more powerful Snapdragon than the Oculus Quest 1, of course. But it will not have the XR2. XR2, guys, by the way, if you don't know, is all about mixed reality. So the XR1 doesn't normally have as high as a power capacity of the uh, of, of mixed reality for the Oculus Quest Meta 2 uh, and also for the Vive Focus 3 and various other VR headsets which are in the pipeline. However, it, it, it is no bad, but I'm, I'm just curious, is this a tethered VR headset or is this going to be a standalone or is it going to be both? Let's carry on reading. Tracking will be six degrees of freedom, basically six degrees of freedom. For those who are not familiar with what it means, it means that you can jump, you can run, you can bend in VR, you can walk around in your environment, exactly the same as in the real life, guys, but within the metaverse. Connection display port, alternate mode on USB-C or display port USB 2.0. Connect with the interface conversion box included in package estimated price 900 us dollars oh my god this is like 300 us dollars more than an hp reverb g2 guys uh tech analyst and youtuber okay never mind this i i don't really follow this youtuber guys because there's a lot of information he says which honestly speaking he's got it wrong twice there's a lot of speculation as to what he talks about we have decided to get rid of any speculation on the channel fyi we just stick the facts because speculation is rumors rumors can be wrong so i just don't follow his channel simply because of these kind of things um so both spec wise and in physical but i like the fellow he's a very nice fellow i'm just saying that the information he gives is not factual so he's got it wrong before so i don't want to promote his uh, his channel uh, both specs wise and in physical appearance shift or mega x x feels very similar to panasonic's compact vr glasses which is basically what they had revealed before in cs 2021 uh one of the biggest missing pieces is field is field of view however uh prior announcement it's p95 pancake optics that when paired with its own copped in 1.3 inch it can provide around 95 degrees. Well, I mean, 95 degrees field of view, guys, is honestly not that bad. It is pretty standard in virtual reality. It's better than the Oculus Go. It's about the same as the Oculus Quest 1, I guess. It's around the same as the HP Reverb G2. I mean, of course, it's not a leap bounce forward, forward in the technology. But come on, 5K... 120 hertz, that means that most of your apps at 90 hertz will run. Uh, it's 250 grams. I mean, come on, what else do you want? I mean, hopefully the graphics are fine, right? So I think Field of View is okay. It's forgivable. 90 degrees is not too bad. Acquired by Panasonic 2018, Shift Hall focuses primarily on niche consumer devices. Okay, so this seems to be a device for consumers, not for the enterprise market. Uh, Mega Next Shift Hall also announced Pebble. Pebble for your wearable body cooling and heating device. Ooh, cool. And Multalk, a microphone that's supposed to suppress outside noise. Oh my God, that would be awesome. Uh, okay, cool. So there's no details if this is a standalone VR headset. So guys, as mentioned inside of the actual article, uh, they're more focused on serving up Steam VR content, which basically means they're looking to either stream the content to the PC or via box or, you know, using a cable directly. Um, but however, because they included the XR1 chip inside, which is similar to the current Oculus, uh, sorry, not Oculus, um, the HTC Vive Flow, which is this VR headset here, so HTC Vive Flow, just in case you're not familiar with it. It only works, by the way, with certain uh, certain phones. It doesn't work with every single phone. You need to know that. And it only works with Android phones, not with any iOS phone whatsoever. So not only is it limited in the world of Android, but it doesn't even work on any iOS phone at this moment in time. So do be aware of that. So it does mean that inside it will have its own 
content. Uh, so the question is, what kind of store are they developing? Are developers going to be able to, uh, you know, uh, because the, bi the big question is next year in 2022, well, this year uh, we have OpenXR launching on Unity, which basically means that any code that is running on Unity or Unreal or other platforms that support OpenXR, then developers will not need to change the controllers, for example, for every or adapt certain code for every single different VR headset. This is the big Thing that we're waiting for this year by the way so that because it costs more money to have to recode stuff and tweak code for every single vr headset so the question is is it going to support open xr platform uh, are developers already creating games for the panasonic if so are panasonic looking to create a marketing distribution company where they can you know promote all the various different games because of course game developers and studios are not going to develop a game develop a game simply to have it on a platform if the platform is not going to bother to market it to the mass consumer it's that simple they're not gonna they're not gonna pay an extra two thousand or, or eight thousand us dollars depending on on the amount of work required in order just to have it compatible it just doesn't make any sense whatsoever so these i think are some of the questions to to ask also would it have hand tracking technology or is it going to come with some kind of uh controllers you know, it'd be great to have a little bit more information about that. But guys, um, you know, if we just move forward very quickly, Somnium Space uh, very recently, um, let me just go, let, let me just go to the actual here. So Somnium Space VR headset. Here we go. Somnium Space revealed that they're making their own VR headset, which looks pretty cool as well. Um, Somnium Space, if you don't know these guys, basically are a uh, blockchain technology uh, social VR platform inside of the metaverse where you can actually use a VR headset to actually power uh, the, the, the immersion of six degrees of freedom inside. It's not like Decentraland. Decentraland is not part of the metaverse. It's a, it's, I'm sorry, it's not. You can't use uh, you know, a, v, a VR headset or any immersive headset for that matter. But with Somnial Space, you can. So it's much more advanced than Decentraland. Um, and it can do more or less the same thing. You can buy land, you can buy things, you can trade, uh, you can host events, you can have special effects, and all these kind of things. So you know, it's got 8 gigarams um, of RAM, or you might need 8 gigarams of RAM. It's supposed to be standalone. Uh, the field of view is going to be 115 degrees. Uh, it's got custom-made x tower like lenses, micro SD card extension, wireless PC VR streaming, native wired PC, um, and a whole bunch of different things. Also inside out tracking as well, so you're not going to need base stations. I, I imagine for the Panasonic, you also will not need base stations. Um, and it also says OS Android 11 AOSAP. It doesn't mention uh, if it's going to have the XR2 chip or XR1. However, hopefully it would have the XR2, of course. Uh, AR cameras version uh, as well. So, and Wi-Fi 6 too. So this seems like it's going to, oh, it has these, uh, sorry, it has a Snapdragon XR2 chip at the very top there. I didn't see it. So this appears to be an amazing concept. Uh, and do make sure you enable the uh, bell after you subscribe to the channel because we will be doing an interview with their CEO. Uh, we, gonna, we, know, we, we know him quite well, so you know, we've got a good relationship with Somnium. We're going to talk about Somnium space and stuff uh, as the year progresses. So do make sure to enable the bell after you subscribe so you don't miss those really cool insights. Um, you know, I mean, it's really amazing as to what you can do. So if I just go to the Somnium space, uh, here we go. This is the Somnium space social VR blockchain platform. So as you can see here, I mean, the graphics are still, I would say, not super great compared to Neos or VR chat, but they're getting there. Uh, it's definitely better than uh, Decentraland, as I mentioned before. Decentraland, the graphics are super, super, I don't know, they're just very cheap and very simple. Uh, but Somnium Space, you know, are more advanced. So, you know, definitely a platform for you guys to check out, especially if you're in the blockchain technology. I can definitely see this uh, going somewhere. Um, of course, if decentralized, uh, Decentraland sorry, suddenly provide the ability to uh, have an immersive VR headset and also improve the graphics, then Somnium Space are going to have a hard time to compete since Decentraland is already a little bit more popular uh, when it comes to the actual token itself and the value of the token that you can purchase uh, you know, in various different exchanges, which we're not going to be talking about today it's not the theme of this video but yeah somnium space is very cool and we're very very excited um you know in terms of the actual uh headset that they're looking to 
to you know to come out with and the price is going to be around 899 US dollars which is going to compete with the actual Panasonic uh, and it's going to come out by Q4 of 2022 or let's say if there's any delays Q1 or Q2 of 2023 uh, because in Q in, in in 2022 we have uh, potentially the Sony PlayStation PSVR 2 that's going to come out um, as well and we also have Apple anticipated VR headset is supposed to come out as well the resolution is going to be uh, whew, even higher than the Panasonic one uh, 90 hertz refresh rate, which is perfectly acceptable uh, considering that basically in the VR space 120 hertz most games are not developed to support 120 hertz at this moment in time yes probably in 2022 I would say in the end or, or 2023 Let's just say that 50% of them may be 120 hertz, but most of them won't be, I think. So 90 hertz is most okay, perfectly fine, good for people with motion sickness and all that kind of stuff. 72 is really where it's not, not very good, and 60 is much worse. So 90 hertz is not too bad. Uh, the higher the refresh rate, the smoother the graphics, the faster the, the frame rates will be, the less ghosting there will be, the less motion sickness you'll have. Everything will just be much smoother. It's also going to have 115 degrees field of view, guys, which is much higher than the Panasonic. So again, you know, would you wait for the Panasonic or wait for this one? I would straight out of the box wait for this if it's going to be standalone okay the panasonic is 250 grams this might weigh a little bit more let's say maybe twice as much maybe half a kilo 400 grams something like that but at the end of the day this seems like a very very high profile competitor for example to the index by valve uh, who by the way are supposed to come out with a new headset in 2022 q4 also or 2023 so this is going to compete directly with valve index as well guys and of course cambria is going to release her own headset by meta so it's going to compete with that also um, then the other vr headset that i wanted to talk to you about today guys of course is the pimax reality 12k oled i mean this is just crazy although to be honest with you this pimax will be costing a whopping three thousand us dollars it's going to be the super super high-end uh, vr headset uh 12k resolution 200 hertz refresh rate although it doesn't matter because most games are not running at that refresh rate come on guys most games are running at 90 but it's great to have it on paper uh, really support the pimax guys they're amazing as what they do uh they also said they will send us a vr headset once they do stand alone so do make sure to hit subscribe enable the bell to wait for those videos to come out because that's going to be freaking amazing um and also they have their own lens system that's going to come out they're going to have the snapdragon xr2 so it's going to have mixed reality capable uh 8k or 5k refresh rate 120 hertz fo fo fov 150 degrees that's unheard of absolutely amazing but it's going to be two three thousand uh, two thousand three hundred ninety nine <laughs> absolutely amazing as to what they're going to be coming out with, with guys just absolutely absolutely amazing and then finally ps uh vr2 rumors uh 2002 uh 2022 um, there are some latest rumors that have come out, or oh, in fact, Sony confirms. Oh, so guys, let's talk all about the new PSVR stuff in a separate video because this is really, really amazing, really cool. But first, let's go and read some of your comments because you guys are frigging awesome. So let's just go to the VR Essentials channel and then let's go to videos and let's go to the 2022 VR party because I think you guys sent uh left some comments there uh Shnaka, Shnaka Taka says nice stream mate you're very welcome thank you so much uh nistro says why are most vr headsets all shaky well because there's no there is no there's no gimbal effect there's no gimbal effect so every time we wear the vr headset unfortunately there's no stabilization uh which is pretty annoying and it would be great of course if you know those those were there let's go and read some more comments on other videos let's go to the new vr games of 2022 do go and check out that video as well a lot of information there christopher frost says this is cool walkthrough hope to see more videos like this in 2022 christopher frost thank you so much for your comment really appreciate it happy new year to you dave holzman says i'm a new subscriber to your channel probably three weeks now i just wanted to say you're doing a great job and thank you hope your new is excellent dave holzman thank you so much for your comment really appreciate it happy new year to you too as well adga says hello i'm new to vr world I decided to have one and I wanted for Flight Simulator. I hope I found what I'm looking for in your lovely, in your lovely channel. Thank you. Yes, do go and browse the various different uh, videos about uh, Microsoft Flight Sim Simulator, DCS, and you know other, other things like that. And then let's just welcome some new people to the channel. Uh, Switch account. No, YouTube station. YouTube studio. Uh, recent subscribers. 
Hey, subscribe. Let me make it bigger so you can see your name. I'd like to welcome Ben Corp Gaming, Ghost Soldier, Hanseth Second, Regis Ducharme, Four Eyes Entertainment, Reed Red Pyro, SMB Doggy83, The Nightman777, Mark Riches, and Tushav. And of course, welcome to all of the other guys who I haven't mentioned today. Uh, you know, thank you so much for joining the channel. You guys are super awesome. Do remember that we are doing the giveaway with a brand new HP Reverb G2 as well as a brand new pair of cyber shoes at the gaming station and also the 50 US dollar voucher to your Oculus Meta Quest 2, Viveport and the, uh, of course, the uh, Steam VR store up to you as to how you want to spend the money. Link in the description below how to enter. Reach as many videos because guys, it is up to you as to how fast and how soon we're going to be doing this giveaway, by the way. Do go and read the link in the description below as I mentioned because all the details are there. So guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much for your support, your likes, your comments, and everything else. I'll see you in the comments below. And of course, in another video very soon. Bye, guys.